Hey everybody, wild boy here. Welcome back to another video. Now I'm gonna decide to do a walking vlog video just for the heck of it, cause I got bored sitting at home, but I got no money, so I thought, hey, I don't know what I can do. I can make a video walking down to the post office, checking my PO box, and see if I got anything in there. I ordered a crap ton of packages the other uh, last month when I, or back in December or something. Just uh, the only thing I'm waiting on right now is a Nickelback poster i pre-ordered which i had no idea if I, I looked on my shop and i said i would get that by september i'm like if it's gonna come in september i'm gonna get the uh i for a refund because i ain't waiting because i know one time i ordered i pre-ordered the first sonic movie from walmart like a week before it came out because it was during covid uh everything was shut down besides walmart and everything so i pre-ordered it and i said i would get it the day after it came out and then two days later i got an email saying oh you're not gonna get your package till december 31st i'm like fuck that so i canceled the order got my money back went to walmart the day it came out bought it right there that's the thing you know something i saw sonic the day the first sonic movie the day it came out i bought the sonic sonic movie on blu-ray it came out on blu-ray i saw sonic 2 the day it came out and i bought sonic 2 i ordered sonic 2 from best Buy, and i got it a day early so that was really cool but um excuse me and then i'm going to make a video in the next couple of days about my update of missouri comic-con because like i said i had to go home from northwest arkansas comic-con a day early which they said on the pop goes to pop goes to culture podcast which is the uh event thing that makes these comic cons and they said they made it last till about 3.30 ish because it kind of it got snowed really bad and the roads were getting icy up there in northwest Arkansas and I had to come home. I had to come home about 9.30, 10 o'clock anyway. Cause well like I said, I ain't too bummed. I got my money's worth on that day and I had like 90 bucks left. I said I'm not gonna last long if I did. So if I was gonna stay, I was gonna stay till about one o'clock. At least to go to the Eric Stewart and Dan Green, which I was gonna go meet Eric Stewart. But I didn't even bother because they did announce this. And I looked at his booth. It was $60 for an autograph, $40 for a picture, $100 for that. I said, yep. Yeah, don't like Pokemon that much. But anyway, I'm going to actually, I got $2. So I'm going to go buy a scratch off ticket and then we'll go over to the post office. So let's see if I win lots of money on this scratch off. 12 seconds later. All right. So as usual, oh, I didn't win nothing. That's just the story of my life. I spend money, money, money on gambling. I can't win jack shit, but the tweakers always do. But anyway, I'm going to cross the street and we're going to go check my post post office. So let's go. You know, y'all don't want to be freaking busy until I decide to cross the flipping street. Ain't this some horse shit? Oh, fuck, I should have crossed. Fuck, man. <laughs> oh, it's still going. Five minutes later. Of course, they're closed, thank God. It's like, oh, Nicole, you're in private, private property. And the reveal. Hey, look at that. Not a fucking thing. All right, let's go home. Never have nothing in my damn P.O. box. What do you do? I don't care. I'm walking across this damn street. I'm not waiting 10 damn minutes it's just for some entitled last name, Jebediah. I'm going right fucking now. I'm going right now. Here we go. If I get run over, I get run over. Fucking at the small town. This ain't fucking New York City. Which I'd rather live there than that anyway. So, all right, let me get across this road. One thing I forgot to mention, I have been procrastinating to do my fucking laundry today. I keep saying every day because I've been off for four days. I'm like, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. I gotta do it tonight. So I got a feeling if I do it tonight, they're not gonna call me in for truck tomorrow. But if I don't, they're gonna call me in for truck tomorrow. And I have absolutely dirty clothes and I gotta clean, do my laundry. I got plenty of shirts, but of course I wear expensive pants. So I get all my shirts. From either Hot Topic or Spencer's, sometimes merch booth from Comic Cons and concerts, but my pants just come straight from Buckle. People are like, you're expensive. But all I gotta pay is my phone bill, and that's it. I bill on my parents as much as I can, so I have, I wouldn't say middle class or rich, but I got plenty of play money when people are like, 
you sure go to the casino a lot. You sure spend money on concerts and stuff like that, which I'm not going to go into a detail. Um, but yeah, because I get, I get backlash. So, but like I said in my last video, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to leave all this toxic city, toxic city behind in the past. Look forward and stay positive this year and not gripe and moan about who's doing what or what they're doing and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I'm procrastinating to do my flipping laundry today. So as soon as I get home, I'm gonna at least clean my pants. It's like I have four pair of pants, two of them I can wear, three of them I can wear to work. Maybe I can find some more, but a lot of, I'm starting to get a damn gut. Not noticeable, but luckily I can still wear a medium size shirt. Um, large just make me feel comfortable. Now I've been doing to where I don't sleep without a shirt on, which people thought I was crazy that I, don't, that I sleep with a shirt on, but hey, I'm trying to do open more things. I actually had steak for the first time last night, which eating an eating a new food for somebody like me being on the autism spectrum and being eating being really picky with food, that's just another huge milestone. I'm starting to love, love me. Like I said, I've always been a fan of burgers. I love bacon, sausage I had mixed feelings about, but I love smoked ribs and that steak my dad made. That shit was good. And of course I had it medium, either medium well or medium ribs. Dude, knowing the difference between what steak and not, but I've I I've had it well done. I had some of my mom's well done. I had some of my dad's medium well. I love the juiciness and fatness to it. So I think steak's going to become my favorite food in the future. Anyway, I'm going to get off here because there's a car coming up. Stay tuned for my update Missouri Comic Con video. I'm going to do laundry when I get home. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.